guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. So, um, I was gonna do another one of these, uh, you know, Dokkan community hot takes video, um, but there was an awful lot of replies and quotes and stuff like that. So I decided I'd just do a part two. We just sort of like go through a little bit more. I'll do, you know, sort of like one of these every couple of months or something like that, right? Um, but we'll kind of just like keep going through, seeing what people are saying about the current climate of the game and units and stuff like that. And just kind of seeing, again, what uh, people have got to say, right? So, all right, let's take a look here. Units with great utility age better than defensive units. Mainly ones that... Oh, here, Jesus. Here we go. Tech Ultimate Gohan. All right. All right, Enerjack. <laughs> I wonder who we're talking about here, man. All right. Oh, brother. All right, let's see. Uh, for example, Tech Hit pre age better than in Goku Black because he had SBR utility. I mean, that's true, right? Um, like, if I think of a unit with great utility, I would probably think uh, Angel Golden Frieza, right? Because he's able to stun, he can seal, he could debuff, he could transform right away. He has damage reduction, he has defensive stacking, right? He's got the whole package. Um, which is exactly why I think the tech androids are going to be good for a long time to come, considering they have that Ghost Sesher turn one. It's going to be very, very, very useful. I would agree with Enerjack here, except, uh, again, I can't help but read between the lines and see if we're talking about Tech Ultimate Gohan, but guess what? Tech Ultimate Gohan doesn't just stack, he greatly stacks and guards, and that's exactly... The other reason Tech Ultimate Gohan is so good still is that they dropped him when they dropped him, his link set was really bad, right? For sure. But they have since spammed units with the Saiyan lineage link, including everyone's uh, cock favorite, physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku, who has Saiyan lineage. There we go. Um, STR Videl is the worst Dokkan Fest exclusive in years. I feel like on her release, she was better than Raditz, I would say. On release, she was stronger than Raditz is. Raditz is the worst Dokkan Fest ever, I think. Raditz is the worst selling Dokkan Fest ever. His performance is so bad. He's just just truly terrible. Um, Transformed in UI Goku's best EZA unit. Uh, best EZA unit. So we're including LRs in that, I assume. I I'll just assume he means TUR. Uh, saved you in every single ESPR and SPR stage he's available in. Your final trump card. Evolution Blue Vegeta can't tank slot one with seven attacks coming at him. That is true, but remember that, you know, Goku does have to transform to get there. But, I mean, he did specify transform the UI Goku. I mean, I'm not going to argue that, right? Like, transform UI Goku, the first turn, he has a 100% chance to dodge. And then beyond that, he has a 70% chance to dodge while stacking. Yeah. Um... I have actually, you guys know I'm a huge like UI Goku guy, but I've never been as high on Int UI Goku as other people are. Um, because it, it's just, it, his sort of base form, the UI sign version of that character, is just really not that impressive. Um, it's the transform, the mastered Ultra Instinct version of him that is uh, really quite good, right? Um, okay. Uh... Goku and Gohan, decent Sun family, take down all red zone stages. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Um. Oh, it's probably okay. So he's if you get them, you could take down the red red zone stages. Probably best to skip and save for worldwide. Um, since no rising rush right here is referring to the 35, 40, 45 discounts, he is a global player and speaking towards global players. Um, one thing about, like, skipping anniversary or something like that and saving for the worldwide download celebration, I do think it's a legitimate strat as a global player you could do, because, um, okay, so, like, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the LR Gods are the 7th anniversary units, right, this year. Um, they're coming out on global, it'll be, what, like, July 9th? So we're, we're almost exactly two months away from the units coming out on global. They will return in December, right? Not really that far off. Um, the worldwide units last year for global was Namek Super Saiyan Goku and LR Full Power Frieza. They have not returned. That was last August they came out, like August 30th or something like that. And they haven't returned. So, um, just the way the schedule lines up, uh, global doesn't get these worldwide units to return until anniversary. This happened two years in a row. 
STR, Vegito, and Buhan were on the 6th anniversary banners. And then now it looks like Full Power Frieza and Namek Goku are going to be on the 7th anniversary banners. So if you are a global player, you do want to keep that in mind, right? Um, if you don't get... Let's just say uh, worldwide this year is Vegito Blue and Zamasu, which would be pretty sick. I would be very happy about that. Um, if you don't get them during the celebration on Global, you won't be able to pro pick them up probably until the 8th anniversary next July. So, like, that is that is something to consider, right? Um, uh, if AGL could go on a higher turn one defense and a 200% leader skill, he'd be a top five unit in the game. I, I mean, I don't know. Um... Uh, Kid Gohan doesn't really do much damage, right? Stunning is good for Super Battle Road. Um, he has the amazing support, which is fantastic. Um, to be a top five unit in the game, maybe if he also guarded, um, and he greatly stacked, and he did like a five million higher attack set. Like it's just he needs too much, right? Like it's like Kid AGL Kid Gohan is really good. Um. Rage Cell should have been a banner unit. I mean, keep in mind that, that that version of Cell doesn't really do anything, right? Like, it's I understand why it's just it's just that. Um, yes, okay. Oh, oh, th this is this is good. This is definitely not a hot take though. Dokkan should start treating the unit tags as Legends does. Yeah, so like in Legends, like an LR Goku and Piccolo would be on Namekians, they'd be on Pure Saiyan, they'd be on Sun Family, Goku Family, right? They, they are on every category that individually those characters would be, right? Um, so, like, that's... It just dramatically increases the value of these characters. If LR, Goku, and Piccolo were also on Namekian, Goku Family, Pure Saiyans, all these extra teams, that would dramatically increase the value of that character. I think it's what Dokkan should do that. And that would really fix the issue of many characters, you know, Gohan and Krillin, maybe like, I don't know, something like, well, Tapion and Minosha probably wouldn't change, but a character like Gohan and Krillin or the Int Goku and Piccolo, right? A lot of characters like that, just, they have no chance to shine because of like the fact that they're on so little teams. Dude, the Namekian team would, could really use both LR Goku and Piccolo, so it would be a huge deal. Um, if this info drops, then Golden Week will be the second best celebration of all time. It's very, it's way too early to call. Way, 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 way too early. This is obviously not real. I mean, you guys know, but, uh, this, it's way too early to call right now. Um, like if the celebration could be that good. I just see no, there's just no possible way it's better than the seventh anniversary. Um, I've gone over this many times. I think the two anniversary celebrations are far and away better than every celebration ever. The sixth anniversary and seventh anniversary because of the tickets. Um, the three different types of tickets is just not undefeatable. Only another celebration with like a huge amount of tickets like that, I think has a chance at beating it and just the amount of content and stuff like that. The seventh anniversary is not a perfect celebration because I think the free to play units sucked ass, but, um, it was very, very good. Uh, LR Gohan and Trunks over LR Hit and God Goku. Um, Hit and Goku is just bad. I don't know that I agree with that. I, I, I would certainly say no. That, that unit is definitely not bad. Um, I don't know. It, it It's tough, right? Like, it's like the, the thing with both the Gohan and Trunks and Hit and God Goku is not really on the craziest of teams, right? Like, it's like uh, some of these units, I'd really like to, to wait to reassess them um, for a little bit, right? Like, let's see them actually get uh, more, I, I don't know, options and stuff like that, right? Uh, before we can really... Like, I, I don't really want to comment on that too much. They're close, right? It's not a big deal. Uh, Majin Vegeta, heavily underrated by the community. Saw one tanking better than people think. The activist orb-changing active skill don't exist. Well, can single-handedly save runs. The problem with him is that he's a, uh, like a type orb changer, right? It's definitely an issue that, that is the tech androids weakness, right? Is the fact that sometimes they could be inconsistent, um, based upon how many orbs they can get. The problem though, is that the tech androids can still be very effective. Um, even if you get shafted for orbs, whereas Majin Vegeta, his sole purpose really to me is tanking. And if you don't get those six orbs, he is not that great defensively. 
Um, the trunks requirement's not that hard to activate, but I don't know. Um, I, I think he's nowhere near a top five TUR. He's not even close, I would say. Um, just because it's like, you just have to realize how stacked it is. Ginyu, Androids, Cell, Kid Buu, Super Saiyan 3, Goku. There's, I, I, Majin Vegeta's not even on the same tier as those characters. These characters like Cell could triple super, uh, with tr triple 10 million attack stats while having a million defense after his triple supers, right? Like, I, I don't know. I, Majin Vegeta is not like, uh, he's not horrible, but I, I, I don't agree that he's like really up there with like the best TRs. I don't think so. No. Um, better than Int Broly. I, the problem with Xeno Pan is that we're talking about a unit that's like really hamstrung by the heroes team, right? Um, I, I think if Xeno Pan was not just as restricted as she is towards the Dragon Ball Hero team. Um, you know, that that would make her better. Uh, I mean, dude, LR, Gohan, and Goten, that's... Like, I don't even... I don't even remember the last time I used that unit. Like, I don't... I, like, like, I don't know that that really matters so much. Uh, all right, Bakuman. Huge Android 13 fan. Let's see what he's got to say. Uh, Perfect sells the lame villain. Wrong. Gohan Vercel's one of the worst final arc fights I've ever seen. Wrong. Uh, Gohan basically one shot Cell. Cell comes back and Gohan just one shot so again. Yeah, it's almost like it's raw. <laughs> Goat. <laughs> yes, man. Dude, Gohan shits on him. Are you kidding me? Hello, man. I <laughs> stop, man. man. Gohan dunks on him. <laughs> Here's a Sonic. Yeah, that is weird. It's like a. It's like. The Mario Toad character mixed with Sonic. Okay. Uh, third form free. Yep. Yeah, well, okay. This is the second time someone has said third form freeze is not that good in here that I've seen. Okay. Um. I I mean yeah I I, I would say that third form freeze. Uh, you know after Red Zone and seventh anniversary of Power Creep, he's definitely aged. No doubt about that. Uh, Androids are not top three or four. They have two good teams. I, I, I hate these arguments. Only physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku has a lot of... He's the only character, basically, that's super top tier that has a lot of teams. All of these characters have, like, no teams right now. I wish people would understand that. Zero linking partners is not correct, right? They have characters like Super 17 and Androids 19 and 20 who are very powerful still. AGL Super 17 is really good. Android 19 and 20 are really good. So saying they have zero linking partners is also not correct. Saying they don't do much damage is also not correct, right? Like, I just the other day, I had them triple 10 million attacks that for me. Um, I mean, I could buy arguments that you think Ginyu and Goku and Gohan and Kid Buu and Super Saiyan 3 are better, for sure. Like, these characters are good enough that I think it's fine. But, like, uh, the Androids downplay, that shit does not work on me. No, sir. Uh, STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. No, no, no. The, well, the, <laughs> Zav, the reason I'd say no is because LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku is probably the best EZA in the game when paired with the Super Saiyan 4s. Uh, so, I mean, I, hey, SDR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and AGL Super Saiyan 4 Goku, um, they're competing with each other. Now, Broly, Chi Lai, and Lemo would be a top-tier unit with a good partner. I mean, yes, even now. Um, because I've got the quotes pulled up. We, we should probably go through some of those as well. Um, I should pull this unit up real fast. The thing about this character is that if they had a consistent partner, right? Like a really, really strong and good partner who would create orbs for them, um, then yes, um, they could really be quite good. So let's go ahead and jump over here. Um, Broly, Chi Lai, and Limo. A day to download literally just happened while I'm <laughs> recording this. I just want to take a quick glance, see if anything super good is out. Uh, it's Goku Day stuff. Okay. Nothing mega crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, sure, sure, sure. All right, let me pull up the Broly, Chi Lai, and Limo. So this right here. Th this is the thing that makes them very intriguing. Is the fact that they have guaranteed dodge with seven key spheres. That's incredibly powerful. Um, but it's just like, this is another one of these characters. They're on no teams, right? They're, they're just completely... 
shafted by the design. Like, if you added this unit to, like, Peppy Gals, because she lies here, and they're on pure Saiyans and shit like that, right? Like, that makes this character just much more viable, right? Um, also weird, this is the only Broly unit that has big bad bosses. This! This is the only Broly unit that has big bad bosses. It's like, what? Dude. Look at... <laughs> this unit has big bad bosses, man. But, uh, Big Daddy, right over here, this guy does not. Well, yeah, that, yeah, because he's not here. Uh, I was going to bring up LRSCR Broly, but it's like, yeah, I click Big Bad Bosses. Of course he's not in here, right? Uh, that, you know, legendary Super Saiyan Broly from Dragon Ball Z. Him not being on Big Bad Bosses is a really stupid decision. He should be on there. Um, no, I, I don't like PvP. I mean, I see, your, I see what you're saying, like a race type thing. Better free-to-play LRs, like version Z Goku. Yes, yep, 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 yep. I mean... Uh, LR Master Roshi was fantastic. Uh, the uh, EZA AGL Androids were fantastic. They've given us really good options. Most of the recent EZAs have just sucked. What? Wait, are you, we're, we're talking about free-to-play LRs. You're not talking about Turlis, dude. <laughs> no way. You're, we're not... <laughs> we can't be... <laughs> nah, man. Global should hire more social media staff. Yeah, they should. <laughs> uh, oof. Boy, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, this is going to be an interesting EZA for sure. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, LR Team Universe 7 is one of the best units in the game next to MVP 17. No, 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 no. Th this would have been true last year. Power creep. Power creep, right? It's not It's not last year anymore. It's like, we're, you know, they, you know next to MVP 17, they could have good defense. What do they get, like around 300k or something like that? And then they have what, like a nine million attack stat, you know, with support and stuff like that. It's 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 like good. It, they're good, but they're not like one of the best units in the game, right? Like it's just power creep has exploded. Uh, EGL UI Goku is shit. You're wrong, David. <laughs> I love this. EGL UI Goku is shit, but LR Gohan is still one of the best units. Uh, stop, David. Uh, SCR Super Vegeta is one of the best units in the game. I, I'm not going to say he's one of the best units in the game, but he's still very good. Um, but Red Zone has just crushed him. Evolution Blue Vegeta has always been mid. Gotta be talking about the LR. No way, like, anyone thinks the EZA Vegeta is mid. The, the, the EGL one, he's so good. You're saying in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta over Kid Gohan? Um, I mean, in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is still really good. Right, like he, he's on the best team in the game, basically like GT Heroes, right? I, wait, I like unfriending people for bad chain battle characters is one hundred percent valid. Well, I, yeah, dude, it's your friends list. You could decide who's on there or not, right? Like, yeah, I don't, um, I would say no to this. Um, in Super Saiyan Four Gogeta, I think is a lot better than people realize. Um. I probably don't put my cape on enough for him. He's still very good in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, he's very similar in performance to the tech EZA Gogeta. Again, they have very, very similar levels of performance. Um, let's see what else we got going on right here. Uh, physical Bardock is very underrated. Int Majin Vegeta. I, I, I'm not going to say that Int Majin Vegeta is not that good. Um, I, I, Int Majin Vegeta is good. He just could be better it's 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 pretty much just like that right um i do think he's a very powerful unit i do think he's within the top 10 TRs. he's just not on the, the highest level competing with like cell and ginyu and shit like that no way um and physical bardock is pretty good for sure uh <laughs> yeah str kaioken blue goku he's really good man yeah, yeah, yeah. the 100k defense start to turn is strong very strong uh, I don't, I, no, 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 you're, you're flat, um, Kosuki, you're flat out wrong. Saying physical Vegito Blue is overrated on release, like, I, like, that's not an opinion, you're just wrong, right? Like, no, you, no, <laughs> no, no. And it's very difficult for me to consider him overrated now, because no one really talks about him. I don't see much discourse over physical Vegito Blue, um, and it, uh, overrated on release no absolutely not absolutely not um let's just take a quick look at this okay again you you gotta sell it to fine goku right there 
I, I just can't. I, I can't. When I was doing these lists, I wasn't including easy units, by the way, in case people were curious. Um, yeah, I go back and forth on these two. I might like Vegeta maybe slightly better, just because, uh, you know, Vegeta, it's so much easier for him to get good partners compared to Turles. Um Turles is better if he had, like, a good top-tier partner, though, for sure. Um, I mean, Cell is really good, right? Like, it's like, this this six right here is, like, untouchable, I think. Like, you can't... Like, that's Majin Vegeta does not approach this six. No way. No way. No way. Uh, best units ever made are the third year anniversary LRs. I believe they're the most used units ever. So, I mean, <laughs> the devs might agree with you. Uh, they were not top units for four years, but they were very good for a long time. Because top units for four years, that's you're saying that they were very good, like, before their EZA six months ago. And they were definitely not. Um, they're, they're, they're definitely good after their EZA. I, I really think they're pretty weak at the start, but they're still good. They're still good. Uh, thermostat. I don't know. I just, I don't know that Goku, his defense is just not good enough. I, you know, like he stacks. Yeah. But he doesn't stack fast enough. You know, that's the thing. If he was greatly stacking, it'd be a different story. Uh, yeah. And better partners. Probably. That Hidden God Goku unit is still really strong. It's okay to use items in hard content. I just want to win. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but I think, like... Okay, okay. It's okay to use items in hard content. I just want to win. I agree. Um, But for me, a lot of times when I'm evaluating units, I'm evaluating them without items. Because it's like... It's, you know... If a character needs an item to be good, then they're not as good as the character that doesn't need the item to be good. It's, I, I feel like that's a simple concept, right? I like to do the no item runs to sort of like challenges, but yeah, just just win, right? Like just win. Yep, I agree. Uh, yeah. I mean, can you can you argue again? Like, I, I the all I mean, the LR Super Saiyan four fours, like LR Super Saiyan four Gogeta and LR Super Saiyan four Goku. Is probably like the actual strong like that's probably the best rotation in the game. I don't I don't think it gets better than that, right? Uh, like uh, LR Super Saiyan Four Gogeta, and then like you have Super Saiyan Four Goku in slot two, and he's doing ten million attack sets. Like it's it's nasty. Um, like and it's he LR Super Saiyan Four Goku does ten million attack sets like turn one, right? Like like when AGL Cell is like at four and five million, and Kid Buu is at like three million. LR Super Saiyan Four Goku is at ten million, right? Um, Gohan, LR, Gohan, and Goten, seriously undervalued units. Um, I mean, no, I, I don't agree because it's a character that can be good in specific situations, which is when you build your entire team around them, can overload them with uh, support and stuff like that, right? Um, I don't, like, there's not really a spot for them that I could think of on any team. Let me pull them up real fast, but I just don't see a place for them right now, right? Because they're not a unit that's self-sufficient. Let me take a look at them. LR, Gohan, and Goten. Very good unit when they came out. Very strong. Let's see. Um, Because it's like... All they have is Golden Warrior, right? They do have all in the family, though. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. You know... <laughs> you know who they could work well with, actually? Would be the Goku and Gohan. Interesting. Okay. On the Goku family team. They don't have access to the 200%. But I, that could work. This unit in slot 2. Here's the thing. This character is even maxed out. Fully built up. They're taking damage. But them being able to activate. They'd have what? All in the family. Super Saiyan. Golden Warrior. Kamehameha. And Fierce Battle. Right? You got a nice five links. With one of the best units in the game. It's just I feel like defensively. This character is going to be uh, struggling. Right? Like uh, with, with an easy A. Major thing is just for them to raise defense right here as well. Huge, that just that alone is a huge buff, right? Like if they easy aid, this jumps up to like a hundred and fifty eight percent. Then they're getting fifty percent defense right here. Like that's a start for what they would need. Let's look at some quotes. Still think he's top three. I don't think I'd agree that he's top three. Um, personally, I think uh, I really like to judge characters. People can get mad all they want. I like to judge characters on the red zone Broly Sage more than anything because it's the hardest Sage in the game by far, right? But one of the reasons it's the hardest stage in the game by far is because Broly cancels dodge. But because Broly cancels dodge, this UI Goku is unusable in there. You guys know I love my dodge. I love my UI Goku. But I, with the hardest stage in the game directly like preventing Goku from being used, it's difficult for me to say he's like top three. 
Uh, he's he's very very good. This is a character that it, it's going to be uh, quite difficult for him to easy a right. Like this is not a character that's going to easy a super fast. Or uh, excuse me, not, um, this is not a character that's going to age super fast, right? Like this guy, I think, is going to be um, fairly solid for quite a while with that seventy percent chance to dodge. Um, he does work really well against Omega for sure. <laughs> yeah, I've had bad luck with Gohan's uh, counter as well. Um, APT is a horrible way of showing how good a unit is and is pointless 90% of the time. It certainly can be because, I mean, some of it is just like the the setups that they use, right? Cause, but it's just like, it, it's just a way to show like who is doing more damage, right? Like it's not, I don't know, it, it's not a big deal. Um... PvP, the uh, basically world tournament is what you're saying. No. If Dokkan released more different characters instead of Goku and Vegeta, friends with some different people like Hit and Piccolo. No. That's that's wrong. That's wrong. People are just going to toss up their Gohans and Goku and Vegetas anyway, man. That is that is absolutely not the case. I You can't... I, I don't know. The friend system, there are several ways to do it, right? Um, I think at bare minimum, being able to select a unit of every typing that you could put up there would be very good, a good way to do it, right? So, like, um, I have, uh, pff, I don't know, AGL Ginyu is my AGL unit. Um, I have the uh, LR Gods as my tech unit. I've got Majin Vegeta as my int unit. I have Goku and Gohan as my SDR unit. And then as my physical unit, I got, like, physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku or something like that, right? Like, that's that would be a good way to do it. That would get a lot more characters on there. But, like... Them spamming non-Goku and Vegeta units doesn't matter because people want to use Goku and Vegeta, not really Hidden Piccolo. Like, there's a, a minority of people want, like, oh, like, we need, like, the, the Saiyan Saga and Hit and you know, Piccolo, like, all these types of things. Yeah, but, like, I feel like most people, they're here for the Saiyans. Like, that's just how it is. In Hercule, yeah, with an EZA would be really interesting for sure. I agree. I'd like, I'd like to see his EZA. Um... This is true. It's not four years ago. Like, dude, like with games like Genshin now, um, Uma Musume, like there's just so many powerful like uh, games in the JP market. I mean, JP Dokkan got to number two, right? They were just blocked by, uh, it was Uma Musume, the pretty girl horse racing game, and then uh, Fate Grand Order, FGO, right? The OG. So like, it's like, I, honestly, like, I'm one of Dokkan's biggest supporters. I love Dokkan, right? If the game goes away, I'm devastated, right? Like, I don't care about money I spend on it. <laughs> I'm devastated because I can't play this shit anymore. Um, but besides that, um, I don't have anything to worry If If JP Dokkan is still hitting number two, I don't have anything to worry about, right? Because it's like, keep in mind, too, this is not, like, Perfect Cell versus Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, which would be maximum, like, you know, like, hype and revenue and blah, 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 blah. This is just it, like it's 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 the start of the fight, basically, right? Like Goku, like it's not even Super Saiyan two Gohan, except for one animation, and it's you know more so Cell before he even explodes, right, and comes back. So, uh, no, 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 nah, we're not gonna defend these shitty free to play LRs, brah. All right, let's take a look. They're meant to be good, but not broken. That's bullshit. I did, oh, I'll get I'll get into it. First from Freezer was another. SCR Broly situation. As for Roshi, he thought they were powerful because he's kind of limited on teams. Ding, ding, ding. You just got it correct. Make the free-to-play LRs super good, but then restrict them, right? So, like, the LR Gohan, Goten, and Trunks that came out um, during the seventh anniversary, they are restricted, but they're still not good enough. But that's how they could do it. Just make these characters restricted to a team um, and then make them better. Just because they're free to play doesn't mean they have to suck balls, right? They could be good units. There's so many category teams with like 89 categories or something like that. So many summonable characters, right? Like if they made LR Gohan, Goten, and Trunks one of the best units in the game, it doesn't hurt Dokkan's bottom line at all. Um, I, I disagree that we're expecting too much out of the free to play LRs. They need to be better. Curious what his follow up comment is here. Yeah, yeah. LR SCR Broly was insane on release, for sure. Still really powerful for Super Battle Road. His defense, like, 99% of the units now is, you know, definitely power crept in red zone, but you guys get the point. 
Um, LR, go, no, dude. <laughs> go, what, 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 dude? Jack, calm down. Uh, no, these are both wrong. What are you? No, 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 no. Uh, restrict the items to more difficult content as BS when bosses also lock, seal, lower defense. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> all the people throughout the years saying the no item runs don't matter. Well, they restricted items, man. Or these are like soft no item runs now, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, dude, Namek Goku's better than version Z Goku. Kalen Cliff are way better than Gohan and Goten. Come on, bruh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dragon Ball, they don't usually do this. Like, Xenoverse has got some bikini characters, but that's it, right? Legends better. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> Full Chaozu multi. I like it. Uh, Int UI Goku's better than Int Blue Vegeta. I can't... I don't... <sighs> I mean, transformed, yeah. A hundred percent chance to dodge is just too good for sure. Physical is the best type in Dokkan right now, probably. Yeah, because they just got Super Saiyan three Goku. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say so. L the LR um Super Saiyan four Gogeta best unit in the game. Ginyu is the third best unit in the game. I feel like you can make that case. You could. You could. Better than like STR Kaioken Goku, I could I could see it, or like LR Super Saiyan Four Goku and Vegeta again, I I could see it. Uh, um, he does everything right. Scouter, he's got a heal. Um, he's dodging. He stacks. Ginyu is nasty. He has a damage reduction link. Very strong unit. Uh, Tech Gohan's the most boring unit in the game. <laughs> Maybe to you. Uh, to me, when he gets up to 700k defense with guard and he's tanking red zone Broly for double digits, that's not boring to me. Cell is a worse leader unit for his team than Majin Vegeta. I disagree. Um, and the reason is because Cell does not require a unit on the team. You don't need, like, I, I, like Majin Vegeta, number one, he has to have a Trunks. And then number two... Majin Vegeta struggles way more than Cell to look good on his team because Majin Vegeta then needs six key orbs on top of it. I I think I think this is completely wrong. Uh, Cell is a way better team, a uh, better leader for the androids than Majin Vegeta. Cell is not even a good leader. It's just Majin Vegeta is like the worst possible lead you could have for a team. Raditz functions as a better leader than Majin Vegeta. Majin Vegeta is a way better unit. Majin Vegeta is a horrible, dreadful leader unit. Needing six orbs and a character, it's terrible. Terrible, terrible. Cell is better than Kid Buu. I'm not arguing that. I mean, I, I I probably would say I like Kid Buu slightly better, but, like, it's... I don't know. Like, Cell, a lot of times, is looking a lot better than Kid Buu. Um, Ease ATRs are way underrated. Well, yeah, because they now have good leader skills, right? Yeah, for sure. Full 170% leader skill is good. Very good. Uh, Vegeta Zap again, huh? You're spamming in here, Vegeta Zap. OGLG shifted the current meta more than the red zone. Uh, I don't... Is that true? I feel like it's not. The reds... Because it's not... Because hmm. it's like, when you go into the red zone, and you don't have the 7th anniversary LRs, like, you are fighting for your damn life in there, right? Uh, or if you got, like, the tech androids, you're good, right? I I need to think on this more, because, I mean, I was around when all these dropped, right? And the metas shifted and stuff like that. Year 5 was the worst anniversary ever. I think, in hindsight, this is correct. But you couldn't have told any of us that then, because, like... Vegito Blue and Gogeta Blue, like, they were, like, the hypest units that have ever released, basically, right? Like, uh, they were, the hype around those, th like, the, the, the meat of the anniversary of that year wasn't good, besides how hype the main two units were, right? Um, but yeah, that's probably true. Dokkan Tower Defense, I mean, wasn't that, that's, like, original Dokkan Battlefield, right? You didn't make the cut. Well, oh, but this is... Okay, I'm scrolling down from when I did my video earlier. I've already uploaded it. <laughs> now these are some of the... 
LR Piccolo best. All right, all right, we're out of here, man. <laughs> Enough of this. Uh, I just see his face, and it's like, man, like, I'm not even playing this game. <laughs> Super 17, please. I don't know. Namek Goku is not underrated, no way. Um, Tech Ultimate Gohan better than Namek Goku. I probably wouldn't agree with that, but, I mean, damn, that's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, AGL trench coat 17 better than LR 17. Yeah, probably, probably so. AGL kid go 10 is better than Raditz. Uh, the, the bio Broly one. Okay. LR Roshi is better than in LR evolution blue Vegeta. I mean, it's like, certainly I feel like you could get away using some of these characters more than the other one. Right. Minato. Physical Future Gohan on a 200% in the discussion for best easy ATUR. I did not do a video on him on 200% yet, did I? Hmm. Yeah, um, Physical Future Gohan on the Goku and Gohan team performs really well. Um, even against like Red Zone Broly and stuff like that. Like he's able to tank, right? That future Gohan. He's up there. He. Like, people just talk about, like, Evolution Blue Vegeta and Turles, and, you know, I'm, I'm guilty of that. Uh, but Physical Future Gohan is really good as well, for sure. Anniversary units should be the best units in the game every year. Pretty much they always have been. I think, in hindsight, maybe the 5th year anniversary units ended up not being as such. But besides that, I feel like they typically always are. Alright, if I click this, what's going to pop up? Hmm? <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, yes. Yeah, but that, that's like the freest free ever. Yeah. Uh, dude, these two. No one pisses me off like these two. Yeah, that's that's free. Easily. Uh, The problem with Boo Tanks is that he starts out very weak defensively. And he doesn't have big bad bosses, which hurts bad. Um, Like right now, as it stands, you have to baby him a little bit at the start of these fights. I wouldn't disagree with this, although I'd say Ginyu is better. Uh, you are Goku's gonna age better. Everyone, well, we'll see. EJL Cell is gonna age horribly. Is he? <clears throat> I mean, he could get over like 900k defense pretty easily, right? Tech Kill and Kalifa EJL Kid Gohan are on the same level. I mean, they do similar things, right? Uh, Techies, a Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta's overrated. Potentially. I could see it. I could see it. Well, yeah. Yeah, Super Saiyan 2, Goku's not good enough defensively. Yeah, I agree. Um, but then, yeah, once he gets a couple of Supers as Super Saiyan 3, you're fine. LR Tech, Gogeta. I mean, the problem is that LR Tech Gogeta is like a, a class cannon out there, essentially, as well. Tanks better and has better defense. While that is technically true, he does tank better than SCR Vegito and has better defense than SCR Vegito. I still would not call Tech Gogeta a good tank, either. Uh, this is... Uh, yeah. I always used to... Remember, you guys go back to my videos when Tech Gogeta came on. I said, oh, the five turns, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, well, it ended up really mattering. That hurts bad against, like, Broly. It does. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do a random scroll, blah, 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 blah. We're gonna do one more right here. Um, physical GT Goku, one of the most overrated units in the game. Top 10 two are in the game, that's just blasphemy. Damage is great. It, it well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's very good. Um, defense, even on GT Heroes, is lackluster. It can be. What helps this guy a lot, though, is that he needs GT Hero units to be really good. And I think that the GT Hero team is essentially, like, the best team in the game, right? Like, you could easily have a rotation where you have LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in slot 1, you have LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku in slot 2, and you have this GT Goku in slot 3, and you're going to hit two 24 key super attacks with the two LRs, and then Goku's probably going to easily hit six or seven orbs himself, and whatever is there is probably going to die. 
I, I could see it more with this GT Goku after the anniversary, actually. Um, I'm still not the biggest fan of him, but I could see it because now he's under the umbrella of what is essentially like the best team in the game, right? And you're going to have, you know, 700,000 HP on that team. So he could take a hit or two unless it's a super, right? So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of uh, everyone's hot takes, you know, community hot take video. Um, I'll do another one of these down the line. Uh, maybe a couple, maybe like during like worldwide would be a good one. Or maybe I'll, you know, after Global gets to play around at the 7th anniversary LRs, midway through July, I'll do one. We'll see. Um, let me know what you guys think though. Thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all next time.